I plan to demonstrate for teachers how to use Doctopus and Gubrick to give students feedback on their written work for your classes. Now if you're at a school that uses Google Classroom like I am, you might have heard of the program Doctopus and its accompanying add-on known as Gubrick. These are tools that allow you to import student work into a spreadsheet, attach a rubric to that work, and quickly and easily assess the work in a way that gives kids clear and concise feedback integrated with the Google Classroom platform. So I'm gonna walk you through the different techniques and tools you need to actually use this tool today. First thing you need to do is create an assignment in Google Classroom. You've noticed that I'm gonna be demonstrating the IB Economics internal assessment here, and I've created a simple template for kids to actually write their internal assessments in. This is how I assign all my work in my classes. When I assign the lesson in Google Classroom, I make sure that I select for each student to get a copy of the document. That way, when each student opens the document, they get their own copy of that with their name and the title. All right, that's the first step. Make sure you've assigned the lesson that you want students to complete in Google Classroom. The next step is to head to your Google Drive folder, and you're going to create a spreadsheet. Now, the name of the spreadsheet should reflect the name of the assignment and the class that you've assigned it to. So I'm going to title the spreadsheet IB Economics IA, and the class I've assigned it to is C Block. Okay, before you enter anything into the spreadsheet, you're going to go to the Add-ons menu and go to Get Add-ons. Do a search for Doctopus, and it'll show up at the top. Now, I've already got it installed, but you're going to click the button that says Free, so it installs Doctopus into your applications. Close that menu, and once it's installed, you can go up to your Add-ons menu, and you should see a little drop-down menu here for the program Doctopus. You need to launch Doctopus. It'll take a moment to do this. And you'll see a menu pop up on your right. What you want to do now is go find from the drop-down menu the, the link that says ingest a Google Classroom assignment. You're going to select the class that you posted the assignment to, which was my C block class. And then you're going to select the assignment that you want to ingest. This is my IB Economics Internal Assessment Demo. Select that and click Ingest Assignment. After a few seconds, you'll see a sheet added to your spreadsheet in which all your students' work has been ingested. Notice that now I have a link to each of my students' assignments. Now the next thing you need to do is attach a Gubrick. So what is a Gubrick? This is simply a Google rubric, as it sounds. It's a spreadsheet in which you put the criteria and the points on which you are assessing students for the particular assignment. Notice here that on the left column, I've put the five criteria of the IB Economics Internal Assessment. And in the top row, I have put the possible points for each of those criteria. Within each cell, I put the descriptor for the points for each criteria. Now, this is a very simple document. You don't need to do any fancy formatting. You can simply copy and paste a rubric that you already have if you have it in a spreadsheet. If not, you might need to type in each of the descriptors here or copy and paste each of the descriptors into a cell underneath the corresponding points that it describes. I also like to give these documents titles that reflect the assignment that they are. So this is the IB Economics Internal Assessment Gubrick. Okay, once I have a Gubrick created, I can attach a Gubrick to this assignment that I've ingested from Google Classroom. So I'm going to click Attach Gubrick here. It'll take a moment. The screen will pop up with the different spreadsheets that you have in your Google Drive folder. If it's not visible at the top, although if you just created it, it should be, you could always go to the My Drive and click Select a Spreadsheet and do a quick search for Gubrick. And all the Gubricks you've created for this class or for any other classes should show up in one place. That's the easiest way to find your Gubricks for all the assignments you're assessing using Doctopus and Gubrick. So select the Gubrick that you want to attach and click Attach. I generally don't like to make my Gubricks visible to students right away, so I'll uncheck these boxes. I also don't generally have peer and self-assessment or, or send email notifications to students when attaching a Gubrick to their assignment. So I'll uncheck all these boxes, then click Attach Gubrick. Well, this is where things get pretty cool. I'll show you what we can do once we have Gubricks attached to each of these assignments. So after a few seconds, you'll once again see the spreadsheet appear. The Doctopus tool menu will appear on the right again, and you'll see a new link 
with each assignment called Assess Document. Now this is where you can start actually grading students' work, giving them feedback, and assessing it using the rubric. So once you've clicked Assess Document for an individual student, you'll see that student's work open up in a new, in a new tab with a couple of new panels included on the screen. Notice that on the top here I have my rubric with the five criteria and the descriptors for the different points possible for each criteria in these neat little boxes. So what I can do now is start to read this student's work, which of course this is a sample so there's no actual written work here, and I can assess that work using the criteria here. I can also give written feedback on the student's work. To do that I'm going to go to a piece of actual student work that I've recently assessed and show you how I can do that. So here's a real piece of student work that I recently assessed using the Gubrick program. Notice at the top I've already assigned point scores for each of the criteria. This student received two points for diagrams, two, two points for terminology, two for application, three for analysis, and two for evaluation, giving the student a total of 11 points out of 14 on this assignment. I can see the student's work in the page here. You can also see that this student has put comments on the article that they were commenting on. That's really good. And when I scroll down to the student's actual work, I can actually read the uh, piece of work that the student created for this assessment. Now, when I read a first draft of this work, I was putting comments all over the document as well. This is another way to give feedback on drafts. To put a comment in Google Doc, you simply do Control-Alt-M, and you can type your own comments on the student's work. Good introduction, etc. Now this is already graded, so I'm not going to include that comment. But that's a good way to give feedback on drafts, which I also use Gubrick and Doctopus for. So scrolling down to the bottom, you can see what happens when you complete a Gubrick for a student's work. The very bottom, what we have is the rubric rating that was attached when I completed this assessment, with the scores that the student actually earned for each of the criteria highlighted. Okay, below that, any comments that I type in the box up here can be seen by the student and are automatically pasted in. So when you finish grading a student's work and you've selected the scores for each of the criteria and you click Submit, any comments that you put into the comment box and the scores that you select using the Gubrick uh, toolbar here will, it will be automatically pasted to the bottom of the student's work. Now you want to pay attention to the checkboxes underneath the submit button. If you want students to get an email notifying them of their recently assessed work, as soon as you click submit, you can check this box. I often do this if I want students to get the most timely feedback possible on the written work. If you do not want students to get an email notifying them that they have been assessed, do not check that box. But I always like to check the auto advance on submit box because once I click submit, it'll automatically advance to the next student's work. This is a really efficient way to give students feedback using rubrics on their written work, either in the International Baccalaureate program or any other course for that matter. If you're at a school using Google Classroom, I strongly urge you to give Doctopus and Gubrick a try. These are amazing add-ons that really streamline and increase the effectiveness of the feedback you can give your students on their written work. If you're like me and do not like squeezing poorly handwritten comments into the margins on single-spaced work, then using Gubrick and Doctopus integrated with Google Classroom is a huge improvement on the maybe perhaps less efficient technologies of pen and paper. All right, so what happens once you've read all of your students' work and you're ready to return it to the class as a whole? This is where you can make your way back to Google Classroom. You can find the assignment, you can select all students, and you can return the work to them. Students will now get an email notification letting them know that their work has been returned to them and has been assessed, and that they can now go see your feedback, see their scores, and better understand how they can improve on future assessments. Thanks for watching this video today. I hope you find Gubrick and Doctopus to be useful tools. Um, I have no association with these two programs. I've just personally found them very useful in my classes over the years. They have streamlined the feedback process and given kids better assistance as they work towards mastery of their subject. Here we go.